to a video about Doki Doki Matrix Mom. I hope you enjoy this video and subscribe to my channel. Anyways, hi friends and I I'm game gaming videos, we're doing gaming videos. Anyways, so um I had I just got Doki Doki Literature Club Plus and uh, well I've I've completed the whole DDLC like the actual uh, game and I'm gonna try and find all the content and stuff like every single little picture yeah and I'm also gonna try and lock all the side stories because I've only played these four. Um, so I looked it up, and it said that like it said that like you have to write poems for every other character. So and the only character that I've written poems for when I played it was Natsuki. I want to hang out with you. So I'm gonna try and write poems for like Sayori and Yuri and stuff. Um, so we're just gonna play the game over and over again. It'll be really awesome and cool. Hooray! Um, yeah, so. Yeah, so we're gonna write poems for Yuri. Right here, right now. Doki, doki. God, that music is loud. My name is So we're not gonna write poems for next Suki, I don't think, because I already wrote a bunch of poems for her. Why am I even reading? Time to write a poem. Who's my um? Poems in Chicago. Thank you. Crap! Dang it! I'm never gonna get my cool achievement. Write a perfect poem for Gary. No! I guess I can't, but I need to run away of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man. Nah. I feel strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Man, I'm back at a glitch. Oh, yeah. Thanks for keeping your promise, Mr. We're gone. Now today. Gonna be the coolest thing ever. Really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit.
Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. Very engaging, relatable story. Plant soul. What's it about anyway? Well, you're close to the book and his hands rise over the back. The book is titled The Portrait of Marco. There's an ominous eyes below the front cover. Alright. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't get anything away. Basically, it's about this girl around high school who lives in a little house with her sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment for some. And while her life is in danger, she desperately she she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships, and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? You made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. What the heck? Uh-huh. Harry gently giggles all the time. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, much kid? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy doing those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Gary is into this sort of thing. Weird. He's so shy and reclusive on the outside. But in mind, he's completely not onto himself. <laughs> It's just that those kind of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but they, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. I can barely read these speech bubbles, how do you expect me to read a novel? And suddenly, when, and then when you thought you related to the protagonist, and suddenly, you're made out to be the naive one, relying their one-sided morals to interfere with the villain's plans. I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Turn to desktop? Side stories. No, I think you have to. Your kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? So does she. So, I guess she's more going to her story. But she also second guesses a lot of things that she says and does. Like she's afraid to do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. But they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms.
The only time I've ever done Eerie's route was in Act 2 when I was forced to. So I have no idea how it goes normally. Make some moment. The Mechoki? That's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. It's <laughs> so embarrassing that you think that. Wait, I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self conscious about that sort of thing. Wow, I didn't know that you were self conscious about being self conscious. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I more meant that it's kind of cute. What? Uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? Uh. Okay, everybody! <laughs> I think it's about time we share today's phones with each other! We might not have enough time if we wait too long. <laughs> Karen exhales, spared from finishing the thought. Uh, is that all right, Yuri? You look kind of down. Sorry, you haven't been looking forward to this. But it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to call with something. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Um, hang on. I'm gonna go do something. I'll just pause for a bit. Alright, I'm back, and I'm ready to crunch right into your ears, because I have ice water in my ice. <laughs> I'll get to do some more reading tonight, or would you prefer I only read it you? Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Mm. I'll read a little more tonight. It was more fun to read with you after the picks up a bit, you know? That's good reason. In that case, feel free to finish your chapter in your own time. Alright! I say, I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip back into my bed. Like 
I show my poem to Ed. The Yuri is cool. Yeah. This is a good poem, Nantiki. Are you sure? One time, actually. Siri always thinks the poems are good, and that's kind of rude. One time, that no matter that any choice you choose gives her extra points. So it's really hard to make her not like poems. So I wonder if it's actually possible to make her hate one of your poems. See, funny. It's like, wow, Magic E, this sucks. What the heck is wrong with you? Of course, it's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> yes, you're right. That's why you impressed me. Well, be honest. I was afraid you wouldn't do it seriously. Or if you wouldn't do it at all. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, dang it, I wanted to read a poem. I must do it for a This is stupid. Why would I do that? What happens if I press skip and just go through next to me? And. What does that Sufi think about your poem? Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race. Owls can see, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try. That's about it.
too. She had an epiphany. Oh yes, a nice little fight. Nothing. You know, every time I play this game and I get the fight, I've always chosen Sayori. Help me, Sayori. I've never taken a side, even if I was always a little cuter. Natsuki, you're right that I like your poem. See? Wait! That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. It's not what happened at all. You're the one that didn't take my poem seriously. Mm, I understand. Sorry. Hey. For a seriously talented writer, it's no secret that I was a pet. Oh. That's what he was with it. No matter how simple or refined so much writing style is, there are still putting feelings into it. You have to do something really personal. That's why Natsuki thought that the Lady Shutter Ball was cute. I. I, I didn't notice. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> but Natsuki is still perfect. <laughs> But that's to be you to go away to God. Green means well. You can just talk how you felt. And this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her and I never called them out. But to be get out of my house. <clears throat> you both said some things that you didn't mean. Your ear polish has don't you don't use it to <laughs> Of this. Me and nobody. <laughs> Try to point being the point and can't have any pressure. I'm feeling bad for her. I know! Oh my god! Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk through my head. Very You know what? I'm gonna go do that. You know, it's pretty like you're having to look at your faces right now. <laughs> On her way out, she crumples up the poems with her hands and goes in the trash. No! My ankles can fly, girl. Uh, 
Poetry slam. What the heck does that mean? Spend an uh, spend enough time during the poem mini game. Put the music to loop. Whoa! I'm really slow. This is Gary from DDOC. I kind of remind you of Yuri Suki Kage from Heart Catch Pretty Kid. I mean, their names are both Yuri and they both have long purple hair.
Oh, but you're in there. Her favorite genre is fantasy and one of the side stories. Hang on just a second now. Hang on just a second now. Just remember to ask you. Not just to be playing. Not just to be playing. I'm meant to be unlocking side story. Oh, we got a new side story. Yeah. Yeah, finally my actual goal. Now we can go play instead of playing the stupid game. Anyways, what's on our list here? Uh, um, got it. Some cool images. Cool, yeah, little images. Oh, it's this. Um, first sketch of your second EG before being outlined and covered in. It's really looking nice. Ba 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 ba. Anyways. Now to our actual goal of this playthrough, playing the side story, respect, and that's Vicky and Monica. Yes! It's been several weeks since the club has officially started. Through their initial setbacks, the three club members so far, Monica, Sayori, and Yuri, have increased their collective bond within the club. Siri is partaking in some of Yuri's high fantasy literature, and all three of them, led by Sayori, have taken an interest in poetry. On a day like any other, the three find themselves suddenly interrupted by the clubroom door opening, and in walks a girl none of them have seen before. Hi! What's the song? Siri tugs at Simon Play and Monica's song. Yuri tugs at the song. Are you here for the literature club? Yes. Yeah, yeah that's great. Thanks for stopping by. From um, small club still, so it's really exciting to see your faces. Yeah! Come and sit down somewhere. You can sit next to my desk. Say your friends and open to your desk and put these their palms. Oh, you're a kid. So cute. Oh. Here you go. Followed by sitting nearby, the sudden gathering of Siri stand up, standing in the corner and making tables and stuff about the wall. Okay, then how about we all introduce ourselves? Okay. Uh, well, I'm Monica. I'm the one who started the club. I was originally in the fake club, but I really wanted to do something I felt more passionate about, if that makes sense. So, I started the literature club as a way for people to express themselves through writing, or reading, or whatever other kind of literature. You know, I figured it was your club. You have that vibe. Uh, I have what vibe? Uh, you know, like, never mind. I'm not gonna judge people, I just wanna be back. Very adult like you. I always judge people so hard. Well, no, you don't, Sarah. But she does. She really says, and for his killers across the room. That's what you did, Beagle. I'm sorry. Just like, there, I've started learning about everything from my friends. Oh, and I also have to be told very adult to be <laughs> I'm an adult. Some of you so that the kettles speaking up for screen. Oh, that's here. Here I told you so It's kinda of shocking, but it seems really nice and super smart. She likes big fantasy books and I thought this. Well I guess that makes me I'm not sleeping. I was listening to music and hanging out that now and then. And my favorite 
ice cream flavor strawberry. Oh, let's get ice cream. My favorite flavor is strawberry. Maybe chocolate? It's cooking up. My is probably, probably vanilla. What the heck? I take way too many of my quizzes. The ice cream ones are always empty. What's your ice cream? Mm -hmm. That's what it says. Probably drink. Uh, I'm just joking, I have no idea. So, it's pretty chill here. Do you just like to hang out? Or do you actually do club stuff? Uh, well, we do club stuff too. It hasn't been very structured yet, so we have like three numbers, so I got like three things from your time and it's like five. But I keep thinking, it's not time to start with like some more structure and all that too. It's been a while that I've been this part of the club, so yeah. So, with that being said, what kind of little show are you want to ask? Yeah, I think you'd like to find the club to get to. Uh, well, I guess I'm literally here. So, I like Maka. Maka. Hey, why did you say it like that? Oh, I want to read Maka in the club. Wait, hold on a second. That sounds so great. Like, after all, I've been doing all this, um, here you turn to the desks with a tray of teacups, which sits down on the empty desk. After all, the deep, immersive reading I've been doing, I wouldn't mind doing something a little more simple. Manga isn't simple. If you think that, you just don't understand the nuance. Uh, it's simple like that. Well, anyway. But in manga aside, is there any other kind of literature you're interested in? Well, not really. In that case, I you consider the anime club? Oh my god! Are you serious? I'm not gonna join the anime club! It's full of weird guys! Come on, is that big of a deal? Manga is literature, right? Uh, yes. Yes, it's literature in my school library. There is a shelf for graphic novels, and in there is a small section of manga, and I've read almost every single book in that little section, but it's stupidly small. I mean, if you consider the protection of literature, I get it. Look, look, I do not read graphic novels or something, but I got I'll do whatever the you want, and I just enjoy it. Don't bother anyone. If I can just like keep my manga here and hang out after school, I'll do literally whatever you want me to do. It's fine, right? Uh, yeah, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. Oh my god, thank you for the best. I have most of it crammed into my locker, so I'm gonna start getting it back. I'm sure I need some help. Oh, I got it. I don't want you to see my locker. Haha. <laughs> if you say so, but there's no way it's worse than mine. I hope they never find them. Let's just see. Here's the club. Everyone one in silence. This is the sound of yours. Oh, I'm such a pushover. Hey, it's not that bad. What the heck, holy shit? This is more than what? That's it. It's like a lot of fun. Maybe, but maybe she has like no actual interest in nurture. What the heck? That's not like I'm participating in the class. I'm gonna always do shit. Her tea is gonna get cold. Yeah! Wait, that's just amazing. But what? I think everyone deserves a chance, especially if you can bring her happiness. I'm surprised. Maybe so. How is my in that creature? It has words. It's a book. You understand. What is the literal definition of literature? I'm looking up the literal definition of literature right now. Literature definition. I'm waiting for the turret to 
Literature. Now, written works, especially those considering a period of a lot of What is that? What? Creative writing. Books and writing published on a particular subject. Leaflets and other. Oh my god, that's not helping at all. A book by genre, graphic novels, or real literature? Huh. Graphic novels are absolutely literature. No, take it down. Manga is basically just Japanese graphic novels. Manga is a form of Japanese literature. Shut up, Monica. You're wrong. Are you sure you don't want to read her mind, Hey, who do you think I am? Sorry, I, I didn't mean that. I just feel really uneasy about this. Do you have any idea? Not particularly. She said she wasn't a bothering one. That includes me. Does that mean I bother you? No, you're a pleasure to be around. <laughs> this is for a cup. I know. But still, I really think we could give her a chance. Yeah, alright. But I really am going to start a book with positivity. Like, how am I hang out? I'm willing to cooperate. Son of a three of them. What was that? Walks over to the door. Thank you. That's quite a Someone's in a good mood. 
Yeah, because I have this. She really brings a piece of cookie and plastic. Found some money and got a cookie. Oh, that's so pretty. She returns over to the closet. The comic will show catch her eye. Which one will I start from? Well, we start by giving a bite of that cookie. No way! Saved up all my luck to find that money. You want entry to my kingdom? You need to pay the tax, Peggy. Boom! If you did stay on, I'm not stupid. Yuri silently walked into the club, smarting to a glance at the door's green eye. Yuri returns a quick, 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 returns a quick nod of understanding. Well, everyone's here now. Despite the club only having one or two before, some have to white white. Okay, so I think today we should go over some potential club activities and see which ones we want to do first. We have four members now, it would be great if we found some stuff for these group. Sounds like that sounds good to everyone? I agree. Okay, so I have some ideas of my own, but I want to hear your ideas too. Um, I've been having a lot of fun learning about everyone's kitchen. <laughs> Maybe we can give each person a table favorite kind of literature for everyone else. Well, something tells me that my advice is that you mean that to be both of your very own little bit and consider it. Maybe we could try to come up with something that everyone can enjoy eating. You know, like, we all vote on a book to read. I think we shall bless this tribe and see your interest, rather than just pictures and cooking on the Why does it feel like I'm being targeted here? Since you say that you hold on and wear whatever the hell you want to do, start with Well, yeah, but that doesn't make it okay to even look like a little bit of a carpet. I like to be able to see this Yeah, me too. Yeah, that's so good. Mmm. I think the voice feels like it. Okay, so you might not see each other, but I think I'm going to spend quite a few days in your life. Remains. And that's if he doesn't respect the club, why should he not have to do it when he's just a thing in him? Mr. So G, are you sure you don't have any other little feelings you have to be sure if you are? I really don't mind if you keep them back in here, but if you can put them on the ground, it's not the same. Well, it's obvious that I'm not born here, so I'm just gonna leave. But I really would appreciate you being more in front of me. Okay, fine. I think you've had a different experience here, but you're free to do it on me more. And so he shoots Monica a quick glare before walking right out of the room. Oh no. Yuri runs after her. And just Monica and Yuri. For the second time today, Monica comes down into a dust. Why am I such a jerk? No, he's a jerk. He must be making me feel this way. Monica looks up at Yuri, seeking affirmation. Yuri looks away. She probably just went around looking for the smallest club she can find so that he doesn't have to participate. Why is she expecting to, to give her respect? She has no respect for the club. Am I wrong, Yuri? I'm not. I'm not good at these things. Monica stops. Me neither. I just have no idea what to do. I don't want to hurt anyone, but I feel like it's not wrong to enforce the club's vision. You know, like, people just join because they want to express their passion for literature, at least to all of it. So, maybe she's not a good fit for the club after all. Monica sits in silence and says to accept her tentative conclusion. It looks tense, but she doesn't seem to want to have it. You can, sorry, you can go back to reading. I know this doesn't concern you. It does. It does? Yeah. Well, I just can't comfortably read in the atmosphere where Jesus is a sir. Oh, well, great. I'm just ruining the whole club then. That's not an accurate conclusion to make. I know. I'm sorry. I'm just 
kind of voicing my frustration and I guess guilt. Like my frustration wants to blame her, but my guilt wants to blame me. Uh, why is it the hardest to be rational during times when you need it the most? I don't think you're being irrational. I think Natsuki is. She's no authority to walk in here and make demands of the club. Your club. Something as ridiculous as manga has no place here. The fact that you're even storing it for me is kind of... I think just static again. What the heck? The fact that you're even storing it for her makes her completely indebted to you. Well, you're right, but I don't know. Is it kind of hard to say things like that? Like it's ridiculous and it has no place here. Do you not feel the same way? gonna be doing everything you can to avoid associating the club with her. So, I assumed you felt the same way about it. That's not true. Well, <sighs> calling her complications with that to me, a realization of things is happening. Uh, you may be right. I mean, if there was anything besides Maga, am I really acting like this? Maybe I just been convincing myself that it has nothing to do with the manga. I'm really upset that I would let myself do this. This time, Monica walked in from the closet. She finds herself staring at the closet shelf. It's just, this really wasn't what I had in mind for a club about literature. There shouldn't be anything wrong with that. Monica starts defending her position once again. It's a complicated issue that Monica is still to consider before now. Where is the line even drawn at what is considered literature? Lost in thought, she reaches into one of the larger closets and pulls out a volume, inspecting it for no particular reason. The cover features four girls in striking cute and exaggerated poses, all dressed in short skirts. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's about the absurdity of the cover of Monica opens the book. Oh boy, will we see what Park Gabriel's looks like? <laughs> Email. Have a nice weekend. Uh, what? Huh? Who is this? Monday, December 9th, 2019. What the heck is this? What? Pictures. I know TV. Anything else? Anything else you'd like to show me? Music. Show me your Give me side stories. And more side stories. Suspect part dose. This sucks! Why is Monica such a jerk? She should be grateful I even joined her stupid club. She should be grateful I even joined her stupid club. It's not like she can find any members. Monica's usually really money. She cares so much about everyone in the club being happy. Yeah, right. Well, she usually does. Maybe when she's not being so judgmental. So what if I'm making Monica? Why can't just one person accept that instead of being so kind of thinking about it? I accept it! I think it's cute! Oh come on, that's not a thing to do! I'm sorry, I didn't mean it at all. I just want to support you. I know, thanks. Really sucks. Do you want me to talk to Monica? I don't know. I think it's gonna change her opinion. Like, even if you were to change her at all, that wouldn't suddenly make me feel like I'm actually welcome in the club. I just find another club. Wait, you don't have to do that. We can create this out, please. I mean, I'm the vice president, or at least I think I am. I don't want you to leave. Everyone deserves to feel welcome. 
and to be happy. So I want to make that happen for you. Dot, dot, dot. Um, I was wondering, what was the reason you decided to join the literature club? Well, it's kind of dumb. Oh, well, don't say that. Your social thing is a dumb thing that everyone is welcome. It wasn't welcome. You wanted me, so... Just don't tell anyone, okay? Especially mom. I think I can win all the time. I can't enjoy any of the stuff I can do without somebody who's body comments about it. This is a terrible But you know, science for the literature project might even figure out in the So I just thought maybe I was going to be so shocked. That was a lot of fun. Jack was just a little Oh, no, I'm ready to Really? We didn't say that to Monica. Because that these are just mental that I think I'm not sure if She didn't deserve that kind of satisfaction. And she knew I was writing this and she was being like everyone else and trying to put me away from manga and she was like, I'm not sure if 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 she was like, But my Suki had so many reasons for wanting to join the club, just like everyone else. It's part of the club vision for her and Yoka. So it's her to express herself as much as everyone else does. It's supposed to be what the club is for. So, I'm gonna do everything I can to fix this. I promise. <sighs> I'm gonna a cool little baby. So lunchtime the next day. Cafeteria and hallways are bustling with students rushing to meet their friends and make the most out of their limited break time. Where could she be? Along them is Monica, who always gets lunch in her classroom, but she has some additional business today. Fearing that Suki would avoid coming to the club, Monica decided to try to find her during lunch so that she could make amends. After such an expensive time, Monica is finally sponsored. Despite her short stature, she's bright so it helps her stand out from the crowd. And you know, like, yeah, why do all the main character anime characters have, like, red hair? All the side characters have this boring brown hair. Like, you can easily spot the main character. I guess it's a cool age or something. But, like, how would the school let them have, like, bright freaking pink hair? Oh gosh, suddenly feeling awkward. Monica is afraid to get close to me. Natsuki is with some friends whom Monica doesn't recognize, and they're all energetically chatting together. They really have this just need to wreck them. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Oh yeah, did you end up joining that literature club or what? Oh, of course I joined. Why wouldn't I? Uh, I told you she was doing Nah, come on. You know, she only showed up with doing stuff in her crap about the anime club. I told you, I never even wanted to join that stupid club. Oh, shoot. Now, we have to work some credit for you think we ever defined the book at that track. Ah, uh, true. Well, congrats on finally graduating middle school on that day. We're proud of you. Shut up! Just let me do my thing! I'm just joking, you know we love you. What? The way you just said, I don't think you do. Yeah, what's the literature club most of the time? Most of the time, we'll be the first one to buy your book. What? Gonna buy your smutty fan fiction? <laughs> well, obviously, I want a signed copy. That was like years ago. You don't think I'm coming out of here right now? Thank you. Besides, you couldn't have done it without us. You're so surprised to joke about it. Yeah, sure. They grow up so fast. It brings a tear to my eye. I think it's so many more people in Monica's direction. Something Monica did to force her to turn away and distance herself. Man, her friends suck. What the heck? That was horrible. should have something to defend her. Why don't I have to use conflict of avoidance? 
I deserve to say anything. I feel like better than that. Doing the way I treated her. Ugh, I'm so awful. I'm not doing anything right. After slam, my head drastically makes it way to the club room. She finds Yari already inside. Eyes on a book of visual. Monica picks up this. And slumps into it. Something she seems to be doing rather rough. Maybe. Excuse me, I don't think I can be club person. I still can't think of anything that doesn't go like exactly my way. There's a hole in the sleeve. No worries. This looks like the way. Yuri looks up from her book. Like, the literature club is a place where you get to express yourself. Unless it's in a way I don't like. I'm so mad at myself. I'm especially mad that I do have the self reflection skills to realize what I was doing. So much for the maturity. Uh, sorry, I really shouldn't be complaining out loud like this. There's a lot of my mind. No. Mm, I enjoy listening. Really. Mm -hmm. Why? It makes me feel bad. Oh. Okay. It's confusing. Yeah, well, I just don't, I'm not sure that's kind of a boring attitude, you know? It makes me feel like she wasn't too club seriously. I kind of need to figure out why she wanted to join. So her friends stuck into her hallway during lunch, and they were just so mean to her. Telling her to grow up and stuff like that. The literature club would help her grow out of her mother. It made me so mad, like, just let her enjoy it. It makes her happy. Why are you trying to take it away from her? And when I had that thought, it was when I came to the realization that I was kind of doing something so It should have made her feel good about being such a person, but I just dismissed it. No. Actually, I was actually trying to avoid knowledge at all. I even did that with you during the first one to come. You did? Yeah, remember? Fantasies are really my thing, so I was kind of feeling dismissive. Thanks to your children to hold her conversation. I should have reflected on that, but I didn't. I just felt like the same worry I said. And now, I'm repeating the same mistakes. They really hurt some of your time. I have to shake your head. I'm so tired of being afraid of things I'm not comfortable with. It's so stupid. I can just picture how much joy you bring back to me if I let her share her passion with me. I'm just so angry that her friends are treating her like that. I'm going to get them I'm going to get them back for it. Get them back. Yeah. I'll get them back for making sure that this is the literature club that I really want. Not the one that they want. Suddenly, they are a first through the door and Monica and Yuri show. The big stare at the face. She marches over to the right step and sits down next to her. I'm having an intervention! I can do that because I'm the president. Is this about Natsuki? Yes! Yeah, no, I messed up. I'm so sorry. She starts to be worried about it. Really? I was so busy. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I, 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 I was so dismissive of her passion that she felt threatened. Probably just unwelcome. Literally the opposite of what the literature club is supposed to be. I really need to make it up here. Oh? Yay! I did it! <laughs> Thanks for the intervention, CR. I'm glad we're on the same page. Friendship wins again! Friendship is awesome! So, how do you want to make it up to her? I have a plan. Sayori? Do you know today? She, I don't think she is. I see. My voice was so beautiful. She wanted to put in pause. But the only way to do the right thing is to face your head on. It's so easy to just step away from conflict and make sure it doesn't go. But that's not enough. Two weeks step since we're all about to go back. They said that I'm making wrongdoing. 
not the wrongdoing of this marriage in the club, the wrongdoing of disrespecting Atsuki's feelings. Okay, do you think you can get her to come to the meeting tomorrow? I can do that. Okay, awesome. You're right. You don't have to worry about anything, but thank you for being my friend. You are good, Mr. Hmm. I'm sitting with your hair. Yuri turns away the hardest smile. Well, I guess for today, it's gonna be pretty quiet for me. You're gonna spit out a little bit, is that okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna read the Yuri. Hey, this girl from Suki's book, how come it's out here? Yuri can feel the mind. Oh, crap, um, that Suki probably just let down on that. But I should put she has some pink coming to the How can you monitor this? Okay, Yuri, I'm sure there was someone else who was using this classroom, okay? Well, I can smell so that both. Then, the way we entered the club room. Mm -hmm. I really shouldn't have left that out. So Yuri catches on some definitely time, so do you know you're really awkward? Now, I wonder if there's a keyboard I can borrow from the music room. Bottom, so the time for the club, the next club meeting has already arrived. Monica and Yuri are the first to arrive. I'm so worried. Do you think Sayori is going to be able to bring up Suki? Yes. How do you know? Oh, well, he's Sayori. No, you're right. I'm sorry, Papu. Monica sits and stands at the piece of her. And stands. I think so, but I do. Yuri's eyes don't move from her book. And the door finally opens. Sayori marches inside. Behind her next piece shuffles inside. I'm nervous by spinning around the room. We're here! Welcome back! Tall. Tall. Monica, the president, stands up and greets them with a smile. So tall, so tall. He <laughs> 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 picks the desk and takes the seat. The Suki sits closely next to her. Looking back and forth between the club members, Monica is struck with a nostalgic feeling. She was standing in front of the club room just like this, struggling to picture just who may eventually be sitting before her. But imagination was never enough to predict just how unique and diverse each member would be. With her own struggles, her own reasons for seeking a vision that Monica had admittedly so vaguely advertised. Seeking trust, understanding, respect. What new lessons for the future for the literature world? Those are the names of all the side stories. <laughs> Realizing she's getting ahead of herself, Monica takes a deep breath and returns to the room. Okay, everyone. The literature club is starting. We have an activity plan for the day. Monica turns around to face the chapel. Alright, she writes in manga and letters. Today, we're going to learn from an expert in our unique form of literature, manga. Now, oh, come on. It's kind of cool. I don't understand why you do this. Monica shakes her head. So it's just. Making it this far would be so easy to just smile and move on, but that's not enough. Not this time. I'm sorry. If it's not what they have to take you seriously, you're kind enough to show what you're doing the club. They thought about it and realized how biased they were against the bottom. And now it's recorded. It caused me to disrespect you. I'm sorry. I think you deserve it. Well, the shit is passion for this. So, can I make it up to you? Oh, thanks, but I know you're only doing this because Sayori told you to. 
Wait, that's not true. I want to go play this all by yourself. Get a chance to talk to her. I was a witness to that as well. He's so bitter, she said. He would shrug his face from every experience that we had. We all have our own interests and differences. It's my vision to let us freely express that. And it's my goal to respect everyone for them. So, I just wanted to learn about you and make you happy. I think that you deserve to share that journey as much as everyone else does. Is that okay? I feel this way in my feelings. But it's really dumb. Stuff I'm into. You want to go see that? She feels in front of us and she's fast looking her straight. If you like it, then it's not done. Oh, except for me. See, or you're not done either. Then <laughs> what the hell? You guys are so weird. Oh, and I'm extremely uncomfortable because this friend of mine that I'm trying to press my head on is falling over my face. I'll show you something I got done. Only because you admitted that it's living too hard to well. You see, he stands up. Oh, yeah, I didn't say this before, but I'm actually into writing too. I'm kind of proud. I didn't want you to make me just for that. Wow, really? I know you did try to go around, so you? Yeah, whatever. Today's you know, not about that anyway, right? It's about Mungo, so I hope you're ready. Yay! A week has passed since Max and Kane returned to the Liberty Club. Since then, club activities have been in full swing. Each club member has received a day in the spotlight to share all the favorite kinds of literature with each other. As another meeting draws to a close, Monica approaches her Sydney on the way out. Let's see, are you in a hurry home or anything? Me? Not particularly. Why? Oh, there's just something that I wanted to show you if you had a few minutes. Sure, what is it? It's not a purity bomb in the music room. The music room? Why? Well, you'll see. Ooh, this looks cool. No, I was thinking that. What happens to me and stay away. We talked about how we pitch in the club to turn up. We care a lot about it being a place for people to express themselves. And she said something strange to me. She said I was trying to make the club that I made myself for a minute. But I think it wasn't until you joined that you stood back. Because you really taught me a lot about myself and the place. And things that I was probably way too stubborn to Come on, you can't mean that. I didn't even do anything. I just like brought a bunch of mama and then I got questions and get out of my way. It's really stupid of me to make such a big deal out of it. You know, I honestly needed it. If you didn't express that you were hurt, I would have never realized that it was just what you wanted. Besides, your feelings are valid. They deserve to be heard and respected. It's really hard to feel that. You know, like, I really shouldn't care about what other people think in the first place. But you're just criticized by everyone around you for being a certain way, and it can get really hard to just brush it off. It makes me start to feel like I'm the problem. I'm not doing enough to please everyone else. Am I being too entitled if I just want people to like me without me having to hide a bunch of stuff about myself? I don't think I am. I just wish that some Sometimes people would try to appreciate me for who I actually am. Specifically, the calls repeatedly would like to be strange and treat me as if I were not true to make it so. How long has she been fighting against that and seeking to change for others? I only wish I was as strong as you are, Sydney. You're so honest with yourself. I'm like always trying to come out as perfect for other people. Anytime this thing is that I really started thinking about this stuff. You really inspired me to start working on it. But, I, well, like I said, I didn't even do anything. You were just being yourself. That's all you needed to do. Also, there's something else. Hmm? My advanced secret. Um, the thing is, I think I might have read a little bit of your mind. What, you? What the heck? Why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry. I think it just felt like 
be fair. Maybe that gave you such a hard time about it. <laughs> I can't believe you. All people were reading manga, but I can't believe you. All people were reading manga, but I know that. That's so funny. Yeah, well, I just went through one item out of curiosity. Can I be reading a whole bunch of it? I mean, one of the characters was in a literature club. What are the chances? You reading for fake girls? Oh, you have good taste. Just, just one volume. And I kind of just picked it out randomly. Well, you have good intuition, though. You have to tell me all your favorite books. Um, well, I think you're so good at this thing. This character you know is in a literature club. She also plays piano. She's weird, because I've always wanted to learn piano. She was like, the perfect person that I always wish I was. I just did what I wanted instead of always second guessing myself. One of the wallpapers for piano is this one. I always felt like I should only share the most of the best parts of myself. The parts that were impressed with me were made for my own love. But after you each one of love, I really realized how self destructive that mentality is. You share it because you want to express yourself. Sharing experiences allows to share emotions. I just felt like, like I always wanted to show you this because it only was it for you. I never would have started my own. Uh, hey, I think the credit for now one goes to Parfait and looks at me. No, well, it is true that Parfait goes to the bottom of my nose, but it was still you who inspired me to keep practicing every day. Every day? Because, you know, you just if I want to do something, I should just do it. I mean, I still haven't been practicing for very long. And I'm not any good yet, like, at all. But I wrote a song for the club, and I worked really, really hard on it. It doesn't have any words for anything, but it's you. That was so good. It was? Yeah, are you kidding? You're like already a pro. A pro. <laughs> Not even close. Does this song have a name? You said it was about the club, so yeah. It's called My Song, Your Note. Because everyone brings something so unique to the club. It's completely different from how I first imagined it, I think. But I was like such a selfish perfectionist. It shouldn't even, it shouldn't be about me, it should be about everyone. And it's all of you who help shift the club into what it is. I would never change that. Well, I think that's really thoughtful. I'm kind of flattering. I kind of feel like I don't deserve this much validation. I wasn't exactly very patient either when I first joined the club. It makes me feel like I should probably apologize too. I think I was just really fed up with I'm frustrated that you're not getting my way with love. So, yeah. 
really didn't need to take it out on me. I was being really <laughs> Yeah, if you get my stuff and butt to apologize, I guess you're doing something right. It's fine, I have to too. I think we're already even. But it's really sweet that you're thinking about it. It takes a lot of maturity to work on that kind of thing. Well, well, I wonder why I got him. Hmm. Oh, never mind. Well, anyway, we're even in that scene that me and my mom had a problem. They admit it was from the literature. I told me I did have that now. You got me. The closet's all yours. To them? I'll tell you what. Keep opening our little something to the club tomorrow. Or we'll do something nice in return. What kind of little something? Oh, you'll see. But I don't think you'll be disappointed. The next class meeting ends up being a particularly tasty one, but... Music... My Okay, what do we have for pictures here? Follow friends. Ooh, what's this? Cool. Monica, 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 Monica. Da ba 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 What are, what are the backgrounds for the, do you think? This is, this is nice. I'm probably not going to use these on camera. Um, anyways, goodbye from this gaming video. I, we had a really cool time. It was fun. Um... See you in a couple days in my next video. Um, adios and have a great week.